I'd like to talk briefly about ERP. That's an Energy Related Products Directive and it was devised as a way of giving uh, the end user a simple to understand method of assessing how efficient their new boiler would be and actually how efficient their new control that added to that boiler would make the two units combined. So the boiler efficiency plus the control efficiency gives a better overall efficiency. For the boiler manufacturer we have to include an efficiency label with the appliance, similar to the ones you have on electrical appliances. All boilers will be A-rated, that means they're over 90% efficient. If it's a heat-only boiler there will be a heating efficiency, if it's a combination boiler there will be a heating and a hot water efficiency. Boilers will range from 90 to 94% efficient. That's an assessment of how efficient the boiler will be over a, in space heating over a season. The Vicera Evolve boiler is 94%. So that's a 94% space heating efficiency, the highest that can be achieved. However, even those efficiencies can be improved by the addition of better controls. And the way that's assessed is each level or type of control is awarded a uplift factor, a percentage efficiency. So the boiler efficiency plus the control efficiency gives a package efficiency. Your installer should be able to calculate that for you. For example, a simple on-off room thermostat is accorded a 1% efficiency uplift. So for example a 92% efficient boiler plus a simple on-off thermostat will uh, give a 93% package efficiency. If that same 92% boiler is fitted with weather compensation that's an external sensor connected to the boiler and what the uh, object of that um, combination is as the weather changes, so the boiler operating temperature changes. On a cold day, the boiler will run hot. On a mild day, but when the property still requires heating, the boiler will run cooler. The cooler a condensing boiler operates, the more efficient it becomes. Therefore, weather compensation is accorded a 2% uplift. So that 92% boiler is now a 94% package. Another category are load compensating thermostats. These thermostats operate slightly differently. They don't say to the boiler simply go stop. They tell the boiler at what temperature it should operate according to the demand inside the property. So if there's a great demand, if the house is a long way below its target temperature, it will operate the boiler at a high temperature, but as soon as the actual temperature approaches the target temperature, the load compensating thermostat will adjust the boiler flow temperature down, making the boiler more efficient. Load compensating thermostats are accorded a 3% uplift. So, of course, a 92% boiler plus a load compensating thermostat creates a 95% package. The load compensating thermostat plus an external th um, weather compensating sensor, that's accorded a 4% package. Uh, sorry, I beg your pardon, a 4% uplift. So the 92% boiler would then be a 96% package. It is possible to achieve an, a 5% uplift, but that requires three load compensating thermostats aggregated together on separate zones uh, controlling the boiler's flow temperature. The package uh, efficiency is quite important because up to 97% um, it's rated as an A package. If the boiler plus control combination can achieve 98% efficiency then that becomes an A plus package. The Vicera Evolve at 94% uh, space heating efficiency, 
plus our B Smart load compensating internet connected thermostat achieves 98% efficiency. An A plus package. That's as good as can be achieved at the moment. Thank you for watching. For more in-depth videos, please view the rest of the series. If you are a registered gas installer, please register for Vacara Affinity.